What's up, Nerd Tender Renegade Kickers? But you can call me whatever we want. So, whoa, 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 whoa. I just started and then this happens. There's a row of outens. A wall of outens, if you will. Why? I don't know, but we'll find out. I'm out in the field catching Pokemon for the professor, but that's boring. Wanna fight? Sure. Come on, bring it on. I'm a Pokemon healed. Where am I? Camper Owen sends out the Tankoon. Evident is healed, that's good. Do we stay in? Or do we switch Pokemon? Yeah, everyone's healed, that's good, that's good. And yeah, we stay in. No, oh, we go to Cobblefly. Because this Tankoon is dark and Bug is strong against dark, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, silver, ooh, silver wind. We learned that last time, didn't we? And of course we flinched because why not? And we flinched again because that's what we do, right? Yeah. Now we're gonna go with a super potion for our cover fly because we don't want it to die. And try not to flinch this time. Maybe, maybe that would be nice. Another silver wind. So we're at, oh yeah, I was about to say we were at 2 for 2, wow, that is all it does. Let's try back and see if it does more, probably not. But it maybe lowers its attack or defense, ah, special attack, don't care about that. And we're gonna super potion it up again, couple fly, just because we don't want, we don't want to share the XP any more than that. Any more than we already have. I could have gone for a Giga Drain, but then again, this wouldn't be stab, and I think we wouldn't have killed it. But we did it, we defeated Camp Owen. And we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch in Cover Fly, because, like I always say, I want to know what it evolves into. Cannot go here, human bad. They seem unwilling to budge. Well, yeah, we are pretty bad. Whoa! No humans allowed. So, this Outen attacks me out of nowhere, but since we have the. I don't know what it was called, the Pokemon speech thing? Something? We can now. talk to it, or let it talk to us. And I just realized that we lead with a uh, bug Pokemon against a flying type, but we do not care. It seems that way. It seems we don't care. And it charms us so that our attack goes down? Harshly. Which, once again, we do not care about. That's the beauty of it. We are a special attacker. Okay, now that will knock us out. That's what I was afraid of, but I wasn't afraid enough to switch Pokemon. Cause I'm stupid. Do I have Ember already? No. But we're gonna switch in S'more anyway, and switch out immediately, just because we can't go with another bug against a flying type Pokemon. That would be stupid. And I might be stupid, but I'm not stupid. Yeah, take that. Uses Foresight, which we once again do not care about. I don't care about many things in this Let's Play, it seems. But this one, this one we do care about because we might have, yeah, we would have killed it. Oh, I thought I had Quick Attack. Well, doesn't matter, it's dead. So, running back to town because I want to heal my Pokemon, because I want to still keep using what's its face... Ah, uh, Cobblefly! I'm not sure, did, did S'more gain a level right now? I think it did? No, it did. But can't be, yeah, 23, so next time I get the uh, the, the, the possibility, I will switch it. I will switch into S'more, or at least lead with S'more. 
Maybe I should do it right now. Nope. I shouldn't. I should stick with one Pokemon for now. Or one or two. Great. Found Super Potion. Gonna defeat all the Altons. No humans allowed. I don't care. Like, seriously. I want to go through there. You're a Pokemon. I'm a human. I go through there. This is how we do. But this time, I'm smart. I will switch out into... Orshinx and just roll over this quick attack. Wow, it doesn't do anything. Um, we're gonna go with a metal claw, should be one or two hits. Seems like one is more than enough. No humans allowed. See, how did I know? How did I know that? Go couple fly, and we're gonna do the same thing once again. Switch into Orshinx, take the quick attack or wing attack, I don't really care which one it is. And just met claw it. Yeah, that does a bit more than the quick attack, but still we have a metal claw that should do the trick almost. Well, was to be expected, right? gonna Giga Drain and get that 1 HP back. Yeah. Out and fainted, we gained experience points and... Yes. Renegade used the PST. That's what it's called. How dare you try to take me away. Take this. Dude. Come on. Just come with me. Wasn't it my... Uh, quest to get all of them or do I just or do I think about something else I don't know but we're gonna take it out right now we hopefully oh well it's level 18 the others were level 15 so probably two metal claws instead of one almost see no problem there wing attack that hurts that hurts quite a bit, wow. But we won. Is here anything? No, this is just where we get back later. What's this cave? Oh, that's this guy. I remember this guy. You don't, probably, but I do. It's Garlic Kid. Use the PST. What are you doing here, human? Are you trying to enslave these Pokémon again? They have been freed from your clutches. They won't be your prisoners anymore. Garlic Kid is here, the Pokémon hero. I found that in a horrible human place and I liberated them. We'll fight for our freedom. Okay, we're gonna fight Garlic Kid. Who has its own Pokémon. Wow, Luna Pup. So... I have no idea what typing. I think it could be, could be, could be psychic type or fighting type. I have no idea. Let's see. Not very effective. Silver wind. Okay. I guess it won't be a round type or anything. So this should, should also be not very effective. Well, it is super effective, so it can be ground or rock or the likes of it. Interesting. I would say ground. Ground, maybe ground fighting, something like that. No idea. But I guess we'll find one eventually, maybe in this cave. And we're gonna see. Ooh, almost. Minion. No idea what minion was. Oh, that one's awesome. I said it all the time, but you know what's coming. I want that. I need that. Seems like a Poison Pokemon? Is Buck good against poison? I am not. I have no idea. I really have absolutely no idea. But maybe it's a dark type Pokemon which would make. Oh no, then Silver Wind would be very effective. We're gonna go with Fairy Wind and see if it does anything more. Probably not. Well, it's neutral effective, so. Most people could now. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. What is it that a detective does? 
they could combine what uh, what typing this is, but I can't because I'm stupid. I'm gonna go switch into Everdeen, Everden, our bird, Robin. It's gonna bite us. Ooh, that did a lot. It has the bloodlust ability, so it seems that every time it damages us, it gets. Oh, we're gonna sing it. It gets stronger, and of course, it has poison sting, and of course, it poisons with the first attempt. So, since it has bloodlust and gets healed every time it deals damage, does that mean if it had something like leech life, it would gain more back because of leech life and. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, bloodlust? Yeah, probably. We're gonna use quick attack and get this thing down. Couple of light rules to level 15 and try to learn stun spore. Ooh, ooh, hmm. But to be honest, I kinda like. kinda like our. what? Sleep powder? Oh, damn, another one. Do I get rid of... I get rid of Fairy Wind for right now. I know it's my only Fairy type move. But for now I have never used it. Or almost never. Barshaf. We should be able to destroy this with one air cutter. It is faster than us. That's unfortunate. And it has Moxie. Holy crap, holy crap. Ah. Uh, what. What can I do now? I mean, I can sack off someone. I could sack off someone and revive. My only revive. Wow. Everything, because it is our strongest one against a fighting type Pokemon. Thing is. Oh shit. Forgot Moxie. We probably lose right now. There's a high possibility that we lose. Unless we can get one or two sand attacks off. Nope. Moxie boost. Yep. Now this thing is almost unkillable. We can only hope that it that we evade its attacks. And by now it has four Moxie boosts up, so we lose this battle. Meaning I go back to the Pokemon Center and can try again later. Shit. If we somehow lift this stomp, I would have been able to sleep powder it, but no. That's the fourth? Oh yeah, sorry, it's only the fourth Moxie boost right now. No, the fifth, because everything died twice. Oh, maybe... Oh, yeah, I could have... Yeah, I should have done that before. I just thought about... Oh, yeah, it's a Fighting-type Pokémon, so of course I won't attack or send out my Deru. But nope, my Deru has such high defenses that even after 5 Moxie boosts, it still survives everything that this thing throws at us. So... Why didn't I do that before? Go on, just... Super effective. Is this thing fighting a dart? I don't know, I don't care. I just want to kill it. Defeat it, whatever. Make it faint. Use it. Use the super potion and just fight it back because, well, that was a crit, that's not fair. We're just gonna rock smash it some more. I won't risk it. We're gonna go for a normal potion now. And I, I just don't want to risk it because if our D-Rule dies or faints right now, we have to try again, and I don't want that. 
Oh wow, now we get a crit. Awesome. But we did it. That was a shit ton of XP. And he says prepare to be destroyed. We lost? But how? Why do these Pokemon fight on behalf of humans? Don't they want your freedom? They're your friends? That's impossible! Pokemon and human cannot coexist. Wow. Do they just... Are they just running away? What? Comrades! You're going back to that place? Why? Or you'll pay for this, human. So long as there are Pokemon that are being held against their will. I, Garlic Kid the Pokemon Hero, will be there to save them. I'll be back. Okay, bye-bye. I got Torment. Not that I would ever use that, but I got it. Are there any encounters in here? I do have one or two Pokemon left. But now I should... I should run back. Oh, come on, please. Someone heal me. Who are you now? I don't know, you're an Edo thing, or uh, uh, something like that. Renegade, you did it! We managed to recover all the missing Pokemon thanks to you! We followed behind you in case you needed backup, but you did great! We saw everything that happened. Wh how? Were they just in the cave entrance like... Oh, he's fighting! He's fighting! Did any of you see a tiny green man in a costume run by just now? That wasn't a man, that was a Pokemon! Our thief was actually a Pokemon called Garlic Kid. They are incredibly rare. I haven't heard of one being sighted in many years. Its, it's habitat is in a remote spot in the mountains, so it doesn't encounter humans often. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that one had never encountered people before. Garlicid has a strong sense of justice. I must have seen the Pokémon in the lab and thought we were keeping them prisoner. I suppose they attacked because they were just excited. Perhaps Garlicid has a point though. From now on, we'll make sure our Pokémon have more freedom and we'll listen to them more closely. Speaking of, as a field test for the Pokemon Speech Translator, I'd say that was a really resounding success. I can see it becoming a very useful tool in the hands of Pokemon Trainer. So thanks for that, you've all that you've done for us, I'm sorry I can't read. Why don't you keep that prototype PST? This is bound to give us some great field data. Just be careful with it, alright? We won't want it to fall it in we wouldn't want it to fall into the wrong hands. Now I got it. If you need anything, we'll be back at the lab. Until next time! Oh god, Kermit. Renegade, if, if this were a test, I'd say you passed with flying colors. You showed great intuition and resourcefulness. I'd say you will... You're well on your way to becoming a fully-fledged trainer, mate. Oh yeah, before I forget, I have an item that, that will help you on a journey. XP share? Ooh. Allow one of your Pokémon to hold that XP share and it will gain experience even when it doesn't participate in battles. Keep catching Pokémon and growing stronger. Your next gym badge is in Beale Beach City, right? Didn't... weren't I just to Beale Beach City before? I don't know. It's a long trek, so it better stock up before your journey. Happy travels, I'm rooting for you. Now I gotta get home to Mokotown. Let's fly, Pajai! Probably the evolution of Pahar. Pahar. Um, okay, we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, and as this episode is almost 20 minutes, I will cut it short this time. I'm very sorry, but today is my birthday, and I don't have all time, and tomorrow I'm gonna go to another city. So, for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for Thursday, I need to pre-record another video, which is Pokemon. Right after this one, I will do another one. But anyway, for now... Uh, wrong. Thank you guys for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye bye!